Come on and get on down to the city, city. where the trains all clatter through. Hey, look at that driver driving. driving. Want to ride that train on blue? Me too. I'm looking way up high to the windy. Take a peek from inside view. All those people busy working. busy working. I want to see what they all do. Come on, let's we round the market. And do you hear that hullabaloo? Everybody's busy selling. I want to buy me something new. Look through the arches under the station, down where the pigeons perch and coo. Take a taxi ride to the river. I want to drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. What man ting that bell to the loo? I'm going to ride on right to the school stop where the children hurry through. Sit down, the teacher's teaching. I'd love to learn a thing or two. Me too. I'd love to skip in River Seat Bingo. River Seat Bingo. Five and six. Seven o'clock. Skip in River Seat Bingo. River Seat Bingo. That's for me. Come on and get on down to the city where the ferry boat sails the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray. She'd love to say hello to you. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. Don't just sit there, my wee cherubs. Come on, let's get going. What's there, Ellie? Oh, beautiful CDs. Hi. Swan Lake. Do you like ballet? <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. It's by Tchaikovsky. Yeah. Now wait till you hear this. That's us. Oh, is that not beautiful? It makes you want to dance. Oh, lovely, Ellie. Oh, that's beautiful. And tippy toes. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Ellie. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Mickey John with Rebecca. Hello there. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Hello, Mickey John. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 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 Mickey John! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, well, we're being graceful ballet dancers, graceful as swans. But now Rebecca's here, we'll do something new. Why don't we dress Claude up as a floaty swan? And we can float over to our chairs, Mickey John. Floaty, floaty, floaty. Floaty, floaty, floaty. Ah. Oh! Oh my oh. goodness, you're a wee bit clumsy today, Poppet. Ah, uh, yeah, well, uh, I was just trying to listen to the music. Ah, oh, the music. <gasps> is that better? Oh, no, it's it's lovely music. It's just, uh, what music is it? It's Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. Oh, I must just write that down so I remember it. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh, give it here. <laughs> Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. Here we are. Oh, that's gorgeous handwriting. Oh, I wish I could write like you, Granny Murray. Oh, well, I learnt from Mr Lobot in accounts at Nicholson's department store. His writing was a work of art. He taught me less haste, more grace. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was graceful, but I'm not. Oh. oh my! Well, you can learn. I'm talking about grace. Will you look at Claude? Oh, Claude, I think my friend Louisa would like to have a ballet dance with you. Daddy. Oh, what's this? Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, a beautiful paper butterfly. There we are. Ha. I'll see you later, my little signet. Bye bye. <laughs> Come on, you. Now remember, less haste, more grace. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Mickey John? Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, 
I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the top. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, I mustn't forget about Rebecca's butterfly. Now, where did I put it? Oh, yes, it's in my bag in the filing cabinet. Carefully does it. All in one piece. Would you like to spread your wings, Mrs. Butterfly? All right, then. Hi there, Mickey John. Oh, oh, ah. Hello, Dr. Juno. What can we do for you? Well, I just popped in to speak to Edgar about our evening class. Ah, Mr. Grant. How are the art classes going? I had some prints made out of some of my pictures of swans. Take a look. Ooh. Mmm. Not bad. Swans are so graceful, don't you think? Floaty, floaty, floaty. What are you doing, Mickey John? Oh, I'm just dancing. I've always liked swans. You know, I especially like the dancing swans in that, uh, uh, Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. It's a fabulous ballet. <laughs> uh, listen, Dr. Juno, could I borrow one of your lovely swan paintings for my class? It's just I think it might help them to come up with ideas to write a story later. Oh, no problem. Take your pick. Mm. Yes. <laughs> right, I better go and see Edgar. I'll see you later. Huh. Oh. I wonder how you're getting on, my little signet. I love to skip in river sipping, river sipping, go by the sea. I love to skip in river sipping, go river sipping, go Oh, I think I've had enough now, do you? Yeah. I think so. What are you doing now, Daddy? Monica and Ifra. Right, now we've got a lot to get through today, but first... Oh. Mm. Ah! Who can tell me what kind of bird this is? A swan. That's right, it's a swan. And I want all of you to write down the story of the ugly duckling who turned into a beautiful swan. Now to remind you of the story. There was once an ugly duckling, and all the other ducks used to have a right laugh at him. Ha ha ha! But he was ever so sad and wondered why he was so ugly. And then he found a barn and fell asleep. But when he woke up, he had turned into a beautiful swan. And all the other ducks were amazed as they watched him floating down the river. Floaty, floaty, float. Ah. Oh. oh, well, you get the general idea. So uh, get on with your writing. Huh. It's time for me to get on with some hard work too. Joy when I go to school in the morning Teach them with my chums and see the children learning School day, work away I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching School day, work away Teaching to count and teaching to read Learning about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score Secretary smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes and the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew Answering the questions where and why, how does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching Day work away. Oh, 
the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look and mark their books. The good ones get a smiley. Oh, I joy when I go to school in the morning. All right, Mickey John. Oh, the story. Hmm. I'm here for my lunchtime yoga class. Oh, right. Um, I think it's in the hall. I saw the teacher go past a minute ago. Brilliant. Hey, why don't you come with me? Oh, no thanks, Bobby. You're fit and graceful, not like clumsy old me. I'd be no good at yoga. Nonsense. I'm sure if you just tried it, you could be as graceful as me. All right, then. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, Bobby. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wish I could flutter off and see what you're up to, Rebecca. Here we are, darling. Oh, sorry, Louisa. No worries. That's you, my darling. We need to hurry up and get our tutus on, because we'll need to get started. Do we start with a plea? Oh, no, Granny Murray. Before we start dancing, we first of all have to stretch our muscles. Oh, I see. Well, I was in too much of a hurry, wasn't I? Just like your dad is sometimes, Rebecca. I miss your daddy. Have fun at the ballet, my little tutu. <laughs> oh, it's time for me to read my class's ugly duckling stories. Right, sir. Uh, once upon a time there was a... Oh, what does that say? An ugful doppelu? Oh, I can't read this writing. I'll try another one. <laughs> uh, a long time ago there was a... Small lip Dougal. Hmm. I can't read this one either. I'll try another. There once was an awful ploppus. Oh, I give up. I told my class to write out their ugly duckling stories, and they might be great, but I can't tell because I can't read the writing. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. They were getting in the mood to do some ballet dancing later with Louisa, so the children dressed Claude as a graceful, floaty swan, and Granny Murray played me some lovely music from Swan Lake. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Dr Juno showed me some lovely pictures she'd painted of swans. I asked to borrow one to give my class ideas to write a story. At nine o'clock, the bell went, and my class arrived. There was a lot of work to get through and I was in a hurry, which made me even clumsier than usual. I quickly told them the story of the ugly duckling and then they all started to write their own stories. Then at 12 o'clock I collected the stories from my class. Bobby popped in and invited me to join her yoga class. She's brilliant at yoga, so graceful. But I wanted to eat my lunch instead. At 1 o'clock I tried to read the children's stories, but I couldn't. I couldn't read their handwriting. What am I going to do? Now remember, less haste, more grace. Less haste, more grace. Of course. I made the children rush their stories. I need to give them more time and teach them how to be more graceful. But how? Bye. Bye, Bobby. Oh, Bobby! Yeah? You're just the person. I need your help. I need you to teach me to be more graceful. Oh, oh. What, you? Clumsy old Mickey John? All right then, but it's a race against time. You're right there, Bobby. It is a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, class, you've all done some lovely ugly duckling stories. Well, I expect you have. Problem is. I can't read them, so we're going to practice our handwriting. Now, the secret to clear writing is less haste, more grace. We're going to start with the letter S. S for swan. With music.
beautiful. <laughs> I wonder what you're up to, Rebecca. Well done, Rebecca. You look like a little swan. <laughs> Do you like dancing? Yeah. Me too. Oh, my. Louisa's got us looking so graceful. <laughs> Maybe you could lift me up, Claude. <laughs> Oh dear, I think your dad would like this, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. So do I. I miss your daddy. Thank you, John. Come on, you. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying less haste, more grace, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving green. Hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, quaking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, baking. Jumping up and turning round Dressing up and sitting down <sighs> But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a swan because we were getting in the mood to do some Swan Lake ballet dancing. Mickey John wanted to write down the name of the music we were listening to but he was rather clumsy today so I showed him my beautiful handwriting Later, we went to feed the ducks in the park and we saw some gorgeous swans as well. They were so floaty and graceful as they swam on the water. Later, Louisa came to show us some ballet dancing. The children got all dressed up, but we couldn't do ballet dancing straight away. First, we did some exercises to warm up our muscles. Then we all did some ballet dancing. Louisa showed us how to be graceful just like the swans. Even Mickey John learned not to rush things. Less haste, more grace. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.